I mean, even if you just believe that there's a God out there and he's omnipresent and he's everywhere, well, he's going to be with you wherever you go. Which means no matter what you do or what you struggle with or what happens, that, that source of correction and guidance and peace is available to you. There is no place you could go that God would suddenly be inaccessible. If God really loves me unconditionally, I don't need to go to church to get God to love me. You know, you're right. God doesn't need you to go to church to get him to love you. Uh, God died on the cross <laughs> to demonstrate and reveal uh, his love to you. Uh, God does not need you to go to confession to get him to love you. He doesn't need you to be baptized or to do anything for him to love you. But you do need to do something to welcome his love. Uh, you do need to make a decision. So being Catholic isn't about doing things to get God to love you. Being Catholic is about recognizing that even when you don't do things, he already does. And then doing things like going to church because he already does. A long time ago, I stopped going to church, and then I eventually read the gospel and realized that God loved me apart from my works. And I fell in love with that God, and, and I continued reading the Bible, and I realized that God is offering himself to me in the Eucharist, and it pierced my heart, and I just said, I want to go get that God. And that God said to the apostles, whoever sins you forgive, they're forgiven. And I wanted to go and hear that out loud from a priest that you are definitively forgiven. And so no, you don't have to go to confession to get God to love you. He already does. And you don't have to go to mass to get God to love you. He already does. You don't even have to stop sinning to get God to love you. He already does. But if you want to go to heaven, you have to let that God in to save you and forgive you. You have to let that God who loves you out there in here. And there's no better place to do that than the Mass and confession and the sacraments. And if you've let that God into your life personally, you won't be able to resist the Mass or confession or any of the sacraments. If this is a topic you want to learn more about, consider getting Christian and Catholic. You can buy it on Amazon. Uh, it's super cheap and it has the imprimatur of the Catholic Church. And if you buy Christian and Catholic, it'll not only help you grow in your personal relationship with God as a Catholic, or even as a Protestant trying to understand Catholics, it'll also bless us as personally Catholic because it'll help our ministry grow.